Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kimi Shula, also known as Kinky Curly Kimi. And today we're back again with another video. Hey! So today I'm doing the ACV dance. This is the first time I'm ever going to be doing this ACV dance. That's why I'm coming to you looking all crusty and like muff and just like not flourishing, you know what I mean? So yeah. So without anything yet to say or to do, let's get straight into today's video. Okay, so. Before I actually start with this whole process thing, you know, the dogs are being disrespectful today. Can that dog shush? Shh. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so before I get into the whole process of the apple cider vinegar I want to just like chat a bit to you guys real quick so when I did research on this apple cider vinegar thing I like became really overwhelmed with sort of all the different methods and information and stuff because there wasn't someone I knew personally that did this that could give me guidance so I went to the interwebs to find information and watch videos and all that stuff so firstly I just want to talk about sort of the methods that I found um, so there was different like I don't know maybe I'm the only one that felt overwhelmed and I was trying to do this but there was ones that I saw like that did who shampooed the hair first then did the rinse then rinsed it out and did like conditioner vibes then there were you guys excuse that disrespectful dog like this dog want me to do this anyway then the second one is where I saw people do the apple cider rinse and then shampoo and then conditioner and then I saw people that did the apple cider rinse and just conditioner so I was just like how do I know now what one I must do and all the stuff so when I did some research and stuff I learned that our oh I should have known this but I didn't actually our hair and scalp's pH level is generally 4 to 5 and then um, the apple cider vinegar, vinegar is around 2 to 3 so that's why you add the water so that it reaches the um, pH level of your hair and scalp or what it should be to neutralize it and the products that we use like the shampoos and stuff is usually a pH 7 so it alters the pH level that our scalp and hair should be so then so then <laughs> so then I thought to myself okay I obviously want to neutralize my um, my scalp and hair pH level so I decided I'm not going to do the shampoo I'm going to try and use this as the clarifying step in my wash day today um, so that's obviously me opting for the last one that I mentioned so I'm going to do apple cider vinegar rinse and then the conditioner um, yeah just to mention that to you guys and I'm going to show you guys what I'm using I don't have that um, one that you see all over the interwebs the apple cider vinegar that you see what's it called proggy or something like that I have this one that was in my kitchen it's a pick and pay apple cider vinegar brand um, it is an unfolded one as well if I turn it up so you can see they always say um, don't get the one that looks like apple juice because that's sort of the refined one I guess um, and then obviously you, it needs to have the thing that all of it says that you have is the mother and this one does have the mother you can see, I don't know if I'm able to show it to you guys but it, the mother's like the stuck at the bottom I don't know if you're gonna be able to see because I did shake it earlier on but it's like floating around there so um yeah the mother's like the, the good stuff that you want to mix and shake well so that you have it in the mixture so it's almost like you want it it must be the cloudy looking one like not see through anything like that okay so this is the one that I have and then I also like searched how much you're supposed to use and of course everyone's telling me different things as well so i'm gonna kind of wing it i'm gonna use about oh, i'm really just gonna wing it so i'm gonna see if i can maybe do two tablespoons with one cup of one glass of water see how that works if it's enough or if i want more i'm just gonna wing it in that sense um so i don't have a clear spray bottle for, to show you guys in so i'm just gonna make this mixture in here and then I'm gonna pour it over into my spray bottle. Guys, look what happened to my spray bottle. I don't know. Like I just went to go get it in the in the bathroom. And then it was like looking like this, and I was just like anyway, it's gonna have to do for today until I get time to go to the skin to get me a new one. 
so yeah and as we go through this whole process i will basically talk to you guys about the benefits that i've learned about or heard about for this ac vegans and then sort of tell you guys if i think that it's actually doing that or if it done if it did do that at the end of this video so let's get straight into it okay guys so i made my mixture it's in my spray bottle right now guys i actually used more than i said i was gonna when i didn't use two i used like four and eight, four tablespoons and then i just started throwing some more in so i'm not sure if i showed you guys earlier on but um yeah so i think it was about a year somewhere and i used it all section over there so this stuff oh Ooh. Mm -mm. does not smell good so that's why i would like either have a towel on or wear something that you don't care about because it's gonna stink and yeah we're gonna get straight into this whole process right now i'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair my hair is really dirty and this product build up and it's just not cute you know what i mean I don't know if you guys can see the build up really, but and my hair's been itchy lately, so I'm hoping this is gonna do the trick. So I'm just gonna section this off and we can get started. So my hair is basically like in four sections, and it's not plain, it's not neat sections, which just four sections, so that's easier for me to work in. I'm just take this setting off because it's kind of poking to my hair. So then I'm gonna take this back section and I'm gonna half it again. Just so that our sections aren't too big. Like so. So from the videos that I watched, it's obviously mainly for you to focus on your scalp and then trying to get rid of the build up on your scalp and then work to hit down the shaft and the strands of your hair. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm taking the spray bottle, focusing on the roots. And then we're gonna use the pads of our fingertips to just gently massage. So, like I was saying, you're just gonna focus on the roots. You can add as you go. I'm just trying to not make a big mess. So I'm gonna add as I go all down. So focusing on the roots of your first, massaging, working it in onto your scalp. Not using your nails or scratching, you want to use your finger pads, the tips of your fingers, to just massage your scalp and get rid of that build up. And you can start working it down the hair shaft. And now you should be able to kind of detangle. Generally, I don't think it's tangled because I'm like so scared, kind of. But this really does make it easy to detangle with your hands. So I'm just going to twist this up so that it stays nice and detangled. Like so. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So I'm just going to explain again. Just going into the roots first. Okay. We're just going to massage our scalp. Try and get the red of that build up, okay? So 
So, while I'm doing the second section, let me just tell you guys about some of the benefits. So obviously, the first benefit I'm going to mention is that it neutralizes your scalp and his pH level. Okay? So it does that and then it also it tightens and closes um, your hair's cuticle. So that makes it much more smoother, less frizz, and it just like reduces breakage, which is great, obviously. Then like the normal stuff that you always hear people say is that it, it um, gets rid of product build up, uh, it makes your hair shinier, it moisturizes your hair, it helps you to retain moisture, it gets rid of like an itchy scalp. So it has loads and loads of benefits, which I've heard from. I can't like say first hand I've experienced it because it's my first time doing this whole process. Um, but yeah, so, so those are the main reasons why people do the AC video and so that they can get rid of product build up, itchy scalp, um, add shine to the, neutralize the pH balance, return moisture, you know, so yeah. So I'm at my last one now, my last section, and guys, this is going to be really messy, like I'm messing all over on my jeans everywhere, so maybe think about what pants you're wearing as well, also be careful that this doesn't go into your eyes because it ain't nice, okay, and I think I'm getting used to the smell, kind of, sort of, also, you like I really want to focus on the scalp, because that's where the product build up is sitting. So like transfer it like directly onto the scalp and your roots. I'm also being very generous with the amount that I'm spraying on. Spritzion. Now that I've done all the sections, I'm just going to focus on the scalp and give myself a nice scalp massage. Again, um, I might take this down so that it's easier for me to get everywhere. But I'm first going to spray through the lines of the pot. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on for about five minutes and then I'm going to and then I'm going to rinse it out and come back and show you guys what my hair looks like after the rinse. I'm not going to do the conditioner yet just to show you guys what it's actually done. I can already say that it really does make detangling super easy and that it's going to add shine. So yeah, we're going to do that real quick. 
So this is what my hair is looking like after the, I've rinsed the apple cider vinegar out of my hair. It definitely feels good. It's nice and shiny. My scalp definitely feels nice and finished. So let me just give you guys like a little scalp check type of vibe. You can see how nice and clean and glossy my hair is looking. You know? So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm excited um, to see this how this ACV rinse journey goes. I'm gonna try and implement it like maybe once a month. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do it once a month just to like use a different type of clarifying way to clean my hair. And I'm excited. I do think it works. I definitely can say that from the get go, it does. Detain, make your hair detailing process much easier it definitely gives nice shine and it definitely what's up with me definitely but it does clarify your hair and i'm sure like over time you'll be able to notice all the other good stuff that i mentioned previously um like obviously it did the whole ph level neutralizing situation we had also um i definitely got it back at it again with another definitely so, I want to say definitely again. I did. Hmm. So, I did take away the product all up. Like, my hair was dirty. Um, I didn't wash it. Tomorrow, my hair would have been like two weeks since I washed it. And that's the longest I've been without washing my hair. I'm usually a once per week type of girl, but I, I just wasn't feeling it. So, I didn't have the energy for it and I didn't do it so yeah I had a lot of build up to get rid of and I think it did a good job doing that as well so I definitely think ACVs are a win I am here to jump on that bandwagon and do that and add it to my regime or my hair routine once a month so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you also didn't um, ever try ACV dance before I really do hope this video was informative enough um, for you guys to make a decision on whether you want to do it or how to do it and what you're doing it for once again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys in my next video